the strategy that you're going to be implementing. So you've got to look at that situation as well. Um, what is the intensity of your competitor rivalry? Uh, are there a lot of competitors like in the retail clothing business or auto sales or real estate where you're really out there scrapping for every sale and every opportunity? Or is there a relatively small number of competitors with some of the industries like, for example, attorneys, there's a lot of attorneys, but um, you know, medical practitioners, chiropractors, I mean, the, the more difficult it is for a competitor to get into the business, the less of them there are and the uh, less aggressive the competition tends to be. What, are the, what is the threat of new competitors coming into the business? That is sort of an extension of the previous question, which is, what are the barriers to entry? Are you in a business that requires a tremendous capital investment, or are you in a business that doesn't require a lot of capital investment? For example, example um, insurance sales and real estate sales, those kinds of things, multi-level marketing, the barriers to entry are extremely low. Uh, whereas, on the other hand, medical services and those kinds of industries, the barriers to entry are much higher. So if you're in the software business or the heavy equipment business, it takes a lot of capital to develop a successful business. So what are the barriers to entry that are going to be, uh, that you have to deal with as you look at your competitive environment? And then finally, what are the threat, what is the threat that your customers are going to have access to alternative products or materials um, as opposed to buying from you? So if you're in a situation where the competitor, where your customer can go right next door or just down the street and get the same thing that they get from you, then that's going to have a negative impact on your ability to maintain good margins. On the other hand, if you're uh, the only supplier in town or one of a very limited number of suppliers of that product or service in your community, then you're going to be in a much better situation regarding uh, being able to maintain margins that give you a good return on investment. Now, the five forces matrix can be uh, represented in what we call the circle diagram, the five forces circle. And essentially what you do is you lay out on a, a spoke each one of the various factors, bargaining power of suppliers, customers, rivalry, threat of competitors, threat of substitute products. And on the outside of the circle is low competition, on the inside of the circle is high. Then for different businesses, you, you just kind of map out. So for example, in the food truck industry, uh, the bargaining power of suppliers is low. You're not dictated by a franchisor as to um, who you can buy from. You can